Hey, Bill, do you want to share a knock-knock joke? I really don't know one. What is it, September? It is. Yeah, I really don't know one for the season. Knock-knock. Who's there? Noah. Noah who? Noah, good joke for September. It's September. Hey, everybody, it's Shelby with a chick plus three and... Bill. So we are going to finish eating our supper and then hop in the car and get ourselves over to the Dollar Tree to do a little Dollar Tree shopping. And of course, we want all of you to come shopping with us. So what do you say we grab the keys? Well, we got to eat first. That can wait. <laughs> then let's grab the keys, hop in the car and get to the Dollar Tree. Mr. Bryn's ready to go. Yeah. What do you say? Let's go. Let's go. decked out for fall. The colors are really pretty, like all of the foliage here in upstate New York. Uh, the quality of these, I don't know, not the greatest, but they do come in at $1.25 a piece. And I love the Dollar Tree wreath hangers. And this one that says thankful is perfect for Thanksgiving. And look at these adorable little socks if the shoe fits. Now these are ladies knee highs. Love them. And Bill has found some of the pumpkin glass jars. They have the copper colored metal lids. So it's in that beautiful orange or the clear glass. Would look really pretty, that one filled with candy corn. And one of my favorite Dollar Tree products are the fuzzy socks. And I especially love the holiday themed ones. These orange and black ones are adorable. And then they have ones with skeletons and one with bats. They are very soft. Now, if you have not checked out any of the Halloween signs at the Dollar Tree this year and you do celebrate Halloween you may want to get yourself over there because look at these signs they're unbelievable this year and right here next to the signs Bill found a really nice golf shirt guys I am impressed with the quality of this thing but back to the signs look at this one cauldron supply and this has a cool vintage -y look. It looks like a card. Now, I myself am not into skeletons, but if you are, there's all kinds to pick from from the Dollar Tree. There's the cutesy Halloween decor, which is more my style. And then there are things that are a little bit creepier. The graphics on these are really cool. But uh, Bill is definitely not a fan of coffin-shaped items. So these we're going to pass on for our household. But look at this candy corn, the trick-or-treat with the cute little bow on the top. Served daily, which is brew in a cauldron-shaped sign. And then look at that moon with the witch. Welcome Halloween. I could go crazy in here, let me tell you. But I've told you guys, I think the past couple of days, I've got a couple of totes of Halloween decor to go through. But these felt bags are just super adorable. Oh my gosh. Now they do just have one handle, not a pair. Look at the cat more signs you see what i'm talking about in all different themes mystic parlor uh fortune readings all kinds of different styles to fit with different uh you know tastes what you like to use All right, here's a better shot of the felt bag. I think it would look adorable, like 
perched on a shelf or on a mantle with its little legs hanging over the side. And I love my window clings. I'm thinking maybe I should do a DIY video and show you how I use window clings, uh, not on windows. Really inexpensive way to do some decorating for the seasons. All right, what is this car window cling? All right, that is creepy looking. I'll tell you that. Lots of scarves. If you put up a little Halloween tree, those make really nice tree skirts. But pretty to wear around your neck, too, as a scarf. More window clings. More signs. More window clings. I'm telling you, I, I don't know. I mean, for my budget, Dollar Tree's the only place I'd get Halloween decor. I don't care for skulls. Oh, I saw the Frankenstein gnome before, but now they've got some other ones. These are all along the same quality as those summertime ones, kind of that stiff uh, felt, but whole big variety of them. And look at these yard stakes, which you can use these indoors too. Snap them off the stake or put them in a, like a pot plant maybe indoors. Count Dracula. At least he looks like he's smiling. What's this? A big plastic bone. I'd be afraid my dog should go and chew that thing up. Oh, this is really light. Very like 1920s looking. See these crystal balls? Oh, that's kind of cool, Bill. Oh, and it screws open. So, like a candy jar, or you could put lights in it and make a craft little tinsel witch hats and little witchy boots of course the tinselly pumpkins and the little ghosts look at this wow oh i wonder if i need one of those for my like a uh, potion area Some more little bags of plastic skulls. Again, skulls aren't, uh, you know, my thing, but they have a lot of them. Look at this glittery pumpkin. Now, this is like that chunky glitter, almost like sequins, and they light up. They have it in orange and black. I think, do we have enough of these guys left from last year? It's kind of nice how they packaged them this year, wrapped up this way, so they don't get all messed up. We probably have a couple of these from last year. Gnome socks. Look at those black cats up there. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's going to fall. Isn't it? Mm hmm. Adorable. 
Now I really think I do want this sign this year for my little potion display. So many new designs this year in these mason jars. And what's nice about these is look at the colors. They've done very unusual color combinations. Well, this is a skeleton arm steak. Well, they have all the skeleton parts and these are all like feeling really heavy duty plastic. This one even glows in the dark. So uh, maybe if you do an outdoor display, I'm thinking. Now, somebody showed something like that one from Joann's and it was like eight bucks. Looks like the exact same thing. We have the gray creepy cloth this year besides the black and the beige. Now this style sign here can either be hung or it can stand on its own. This one's cute. You like that one? Yeah. This one's a little something different done in the pale purple. And then this one is more the traditional Halloween purple, but again, just a different look. I do like the look of this mason jar here with the little white ghosts on it, but big, big variety. Yep, more plastic bones and the soap is back. I'm very happy to see that. They have the ghost one, which is my favorite, and then a skull. Now these, you can't even tell what these are on camera, but you see that little picture down on the bottom right of your screen? These are flocked skulls. So they're made to look like they're covered in, um, it's not moss because it's more like a velvety look to it. And these little metal pieces of table decor back this year. Those are very cute. And yeah, they got all the parts. Look at that is a skeleton foot. Oh yeah, we bought that not long ago. That's different, I like that. Smarties. Smarties. You know I'm a sucker for packaging. Look at the cute Halloween themed packages. They're made in China. I love seeing all the new Halloween candy. Columbina Spooktacular Gummies Mix. And they come in three, yes, three different flavors and what fun shapes. And I just love paper plates. And look at these, the purple and the green. And you get 17, no, 16. 16 plates. That seems like a decent amount. Look at all the stuff. Well, they got these little like glittery bows back this year in packs of threes. All kinds of flowers. I love these little wind up toys. We've had them in the past and they work. This jack-o-lantern again looks very vintagey. And these are perfect for Halloween decorating too. These are great, these candles, and they have them in the purple and the black and the white. And here are some orange tapers. So again, great for holiday decorating. Now, at the end of today's video, I have a wonderful viewer friend photo sent in to me by my very talented friend, Barbara, and it fits perfect with the season. Look at this gorgeous wreath that Barbara created, and it says, give 
things. This craft photo share, or just any photo share for that matter, is open to everybody. It's an ongoing project. I'll include my email right here, and I'd love it if you would send to me some photos to share in an upcoming video. And as always, my friends, remember, until next time, please be well.